What's up everyone, welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Today I'm gonna to be setting up the CO2 scrubber on the 210 gallon reef. Okay, so this video is long overdue, I know, but today is the day that we set up the CO2 scrubber on the 210 gallon reef. So what is a CO2 scrubber? Now, a CO2 scrubber uses absorbent media inside this reactor, which is hooked up to your protein skimmer. What it does is it takes CO2 from the air and mixes that, new, that renewed oxygen into your tank and it causes your pH to go up. Now, higher levels of pH helps coral calcification and it helps your corals grow faster. So my tank right now is hanging out around 7.7 .7 and 7.8, and I kind of want to get it up to that 8.3 level. But why is the pH of my tank hanging out around 7.7 .7 and 7.8? Well, it could be because of the CO2 or carbon dioxide that's being released in my home. Now, there are some options to raising the pH in your tank. You can use a pH buffer, which is a solution that you mix into your water. You can also just open a window for a little bit and let some fresh air in. Now another way is to run an airline tubing from your protein skimmer to the outside by drilling a hole in the wall. Now if none of those sound like a good option for you, then maybe a CO2 scrubber is. I'm going to keep you guys updated on how this goes, but first we have to set it up. So let's go do that. Okay, so now we're going to put the CO2 media into the reactor and this is how it's done. So first you want to grab your reactor right here. Just like any other reactor, you're going to take the top right off and then you're going to get the inside cartridge and that's where we're going to put the media. Now the instructions does say to add a tablespoon of water uh, down here in uh, this chamber here. But you don't want to put too much water in there that it's going to touch the media once you put it in this cartridge. That's why it says only a tablespoon. And take this off. Take off, take out the sponges. So there's two sponges, one for the top, one for the bottom. And this one looks like it's attached in here. All right, so we're gonna leave that one in here. And then there's one also right up there at the top. So now we're gonna open up the media. So if you take a look inside, you see all the little pellets there. They're white pellets that will absorb the CO2 and I probably don't want to leave this out in the open too long. So we're going to pour some in. So we filled up the cartridge with the pellets. You can see that there are nice white little pellets there. And as these pellets absorb the media, the color of the media will change from white to blue. and just put this bottom piece back on. All right, looks like we're ready to go. We got a loaded cartridge, put it back inside this one. Put the lid back on. Now it's time to go attach the airline hose. Okay, so I made a spot for the reactor to go by putting two small screws up there and hanging it up. Once you found the location for your scrubber, you need to take the airline hosing, measure out enough hosing to reach from your reactor to the protein skimmer. Just take a pair of scissors and cut it right about there and check the length again. And that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna hook that up to the CO2 scrubber by putting it right here at the outlet or the end, this little nozzle here, just slide it right on. And then once we have it attached to the CO2 scrubber, you want to take the rest of the tube, once you get a good fit, follow it down to your protein skimmer and you're gonna put it in the air intake um, where your protein skimmer is drawing in air, put it right down in there and you should be 
good to go. And that's what it looks like attached. Okay, so now we have everything set up on the 210 gallon reef. And now all we have to do is make sure we watch our pH over the course of the next few weeks. When it's first set up, you wanna make sure you watch the pH levels and see how quickly they're rising. You don't want them rising too fast. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. And if you're following me on Facebook, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. There's a whole library of information and videos that I have posted over there. You can follow any of the links in the description below. And I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.